Hey Forsyth, welcome to the parlor where we keep up with the news so you don't have to. Along with other sports, golf is about to start up. Also, FFA is hard at work preparing for upcoming competitions. Let's talk to Soph for more info on that. Thanks, Abby. FFA members have begun preparing for a variety of competitions and have even started competing. Let's go get a closer look at that with Sid. Thanks, guys. So I'm here with Gabby Thompson, a sophomore in FFA. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. So I heard that you guys had multiple meets competitions over spring break. Kind of tell me how those went for you. Our team has been placing top 10 overall in all the competitions we've had so far. We're doing really good on ID, and I think that will really improve over the course of our next competitions. Awesome, and good luck to you guys. I also heard that you participated in a speech competition on Tuesday. How did that go? I competed in Division Two, and I got first place, and so did one other of my teammates, so we did really good yesterday. Thank you, and lastly, what's your favorite part about FFA? Probably definitely public speaking. It's one of my favorite parts, so. Oh, thank you, back to you guys. Thanks, Sid, good luck FFA members. The golf team has been working hard at practices and preparing for the upcoming season. Let's talk more about that with Ben. Thanks, Liz. The golf team has started practices and meetings after school, getting ready for their season, which starts soon this month. Let's go talk to Chase for more info. Thanks guys. I'm here with Brady Thompson, a junior on the golf team. How are you today? Good. How you doing? Pretty good. So um, how long have you played golf? Um, about eight months now. I started at the end of summer last year. Okay, okay. So not too long. Um, how have your uh, practices looked coming up on the season? Good. It looks really good. We've got a lot of good guys today. Now going out there and playing. Awesome. Awesome. And so what's your average on an 18-hole like score? Uh, I usually shoot like mid-80s, the high 90s. Okay, so pretty good, pretty good. Back to you guys. Thanks, Chase. Good luck, golf team. This week, Jolie, Kim, and Bea have a vocal segment for us. Let's go check it out. Hey, Forsyth. I'm Jolie. I'm Kim. I'm Bea. And today, we're going to be testing your knowledge on Easter. Let's, Let's go! go. Oh. The Sunday before Easter is called what? Easter Sunday. Wrong! It's Palm Sunday. Oh. Wait, what? Palm. Palm Sunday. What do you mean? Just the Sunday before Easter. <laughs> Mason! What's the most popular Easter candy in America? Jolly Ranchers. Wrong. Marshmallow Peets. A question. <laughs> the first uh, Easter eggs were dyed what color? Blue. No, red. <laughs> what color jelly bean is most popular? Uh, blue, I'm pretty sure. Nope, red. The world record largest chocolate Easter egg was made in what city? Chicago. <laughs> no, Tosca, Italy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Braxton, what part of the Easter Bunny do most people bite off first? Uh, head. Ears. Close. Well, that was fun. Sadly, nobody really knew any of their Easter facts, but... Back to you guys. Thanks, guys. That was music to my ears. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Remember, Forsyth, stay classy, not trashy. Thanks, guys. Today I'm here with Gabby. No. <laughs> I was oh, my gosh. Are you vlogging? Because I'm vlogging. Hey Forsyth, welcome back to the parlor where we keep. 